name is Dr. Anthony Lamera, and I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon. Today we're going to we're going to review the management of a type B atrial dissection. Before I get started, though, let's review the anatomy of the heart, the aorta, and define what a type B, B dissection is. Okay, this is a model of a heart here. I like to think of the heart in terms of sides. This is the right side, right atrium, right ventricle, and this is the left side, left atrium, left ventricle. Blood will classically go from the left atrium to the left ventricle. The ventricle will squeeze and push blood to this structure. This is referred to as the aorta. It's the largest blood vessel in the body. It carries blood to the brain through these vessels. It'll go behind the, the heart and supply blood to the other organs, the liver, the kidney, and even the extremities. Now the aorta is divided into the ascending aorta, the arch of the aorta, and that's where the blood vessels go to the brain. And then there's the descending aorta, which is it's what is referred to as what's below the left subclavian artery. So once again, ascending aorta, arch of the aorta, and descending aorta. Now, the aorta is defined by three layers. There's an intima, which is the innermost layer of the aorta, and that's the layer of the aorta that's actually in direct contact with blood. It has a smooth surface. There's a medial layer, and that's the layer that contains muscle fibers, and that allows the aorta to expand and contract with each heartbeat. The outermost layer of the aorta is referred to as the adventitia, and that's the strength layer. When someone has a type B, has a dissection, excuse me, that refers to a tear in the innermost layer of the aorta, otherwise known as the intima. And when there, there's, that tear is present, that allows blood to go in between the layers of the wall, which weakens the aorta, and unfortunately potentially could rupture. Now, if you looked at my previous videos, I described a type A dissection as a dissection that involved the ascending aorta. And the management for those patients would be emergency surgery. In contrast, a type B dissection is when the dissection or tear is below the left subclavian artery and the descending aorta. The management for these patients are quite different. Before we get there though, let's describe how these patients often present to the hospital. Oftentimes when someone has a type B dissection, they complain of chest pain or back pain, and sometimes the chest pain goes to the back. They'll often sign as a complaint of shortness of breath, lower extremity weakness, or even paralysis. When they present to the ER with these symptoms or signs, they'll work up most commonly with the CAT scan with contrast, and that will clearly show the dissection. Now, in contrast to type A dissections, the management for a type B dissection is primarily medical management. That involves blood pressure control. And the reason why blood pressure control is important is because initially, most of these patients will come in with, to the ER with high blood pressure. And that high blood pressure is actually what contributes to the tear. By controlling the blood pressure, you decrease the risk of rupture. The second common treatment for these patients is, is pain control. They'll often come in with chest or back pain, as I mentioned before. So by controlling their pain, you're controlling their overall well-being. And that actually will often help with controlling the blood pressure. The other component of medical management is actually following these patients carefully to make sure they're stable. Most of these patients are managed first in the intensive care unit, and as they improve and stabilize, they'll go to a regular room, and eventually home. And once they're home, they'll be followed up with repeat CAT scans to make sure the aorta is not getting larger, and also to make sure there's no signs of bleeding. So that's the primary treatment for patients who have type B dissections. There are, however, patients who require surgical intervention, and that would be if there was uncontrolled pain. As I mentioned before, they'll come in with pain, either chest or back pain, and if you can't get their pain controlled with medicine, they'll require surgery. The second common reason is malperfusion, and that term defines is that's when the aorta that's dissected is not providing enough blood flow to the organs and extremities, and that would that would be another reason to uh, treat these patients with surgery. And the last reason, the last most common reason, is if there's free rupture. If the aorta's rupture and the patient's actively bleeding, you'll have to treat them with surgery as well. Now, initially when patients were treated with surgery, that would involve going to the operating room, going to sleep, and they'd have what's referred to as a thoracotomy, and an incision in between the ribs that would then provide exposure to, this, to the descending aorta. The descending aorta then would be, would be replaced, a portion of it would be, would be replaced with a graft that's sewn in. Now that operation was very challenging, 
and it had complications associated with bleeding. There was potential stroke and unfortunately potential paralysis. Over the last several years though, however, the treatment has shifted from an open approach to what's referred to as an endovascular approach, a treatment of with stents within the aorta. So instead of opening the chest, the patient could then get an aorta, a stent graft placed within the aorta that would exclude the dissected portion of the aorta. And that allows for reestablishment of blood flow to the extremities and organs and preventing rupture. So once again, the management of patients with type B dissection is primarily medical management, blood pressure control, pain control, and surveillance. Unfortunately, when that is not successful, then surgery is indicated for inability to control the pain, malperfusion, or rupture. And the primary treatment at this time is stent grafting. Okay, that's a brief description of management of a patient with a type B aortic dissection. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you very much.